everybody good morning and um, today's video is going to be a vlog of the lesson that i'm going to have on diego um, so, um yeah we're going to head over to where the lesson is at probably around quarter to 11 i think um the lessons are 12 but just so it gives us time i'm trying to put his tag on the lorry um and luckily i found my car keys because i was stressed and i couldn't find them anywhere because it's really annoying they like the you know the thing which attaches all the key rings to it well it fell off so like now i just have to try and find this rather than like loads of keys attached to it like key rings sorry so i managed to find them because i need to get my boots and my hat out of my car um oh god the lighting's really bad i should have filmed all of this outside but um but yeah so what is going on um i think that's all really i need to get back at a reasonable time because i need to do uni work so, so the reason why i'm riding and having a lesson at 12 is because i've got a reading week so it means that you don't have any lectures at uni so yeah um although i should be using it to be revising and not revising like doing my assignments but his bridal i've already got out so i'm just gonna take his martin girl because i unattached it um yeah i think that's it but i don't really know i need to oh i need to get some boots some boots on then get him out from the field i need to do a net for the lorry and that's it pretty much make sure he's all looking nice because turnout is key so i've got my hat and my boots which i'm gonna put in the lorry this is open I do hope it is. Ah, oh, no. Well, they can stay there until. Lily! She keeps staying at the gate. She's like, let me come in. I want to eat Hayledge. Hey, pretty girl. <laughs> You're so cute. I love you. You're literally the best pony ever. She won an award at the Pony Club Awards. Didn't you, Leah? For best Pony Club pony. She's literally so awesome. <laughs> so dirty as well. Don't have fun. Oh my God, a rock. When did that happen? Don't have fun. So annoying. I'm going to stand in the mud with my friends. Eat grass. Anyway, I need to get a load. Um, not open. Jay got out soon, but... Their field is rather boggy it's at the front. They're so naughty, they keep on like biting each other's bums and like annoying each other. But yeah, I'm gonna go get him and I'll video me when I've got him because I think it'll be a bit of a challenge going in these like trainers to get there. But we'll give it a go. What we've done is we've put like these I don't even know what you'd call these, like panels. I don't really know. Um down to obviously try and avoid the mob but look how dirt like ho look how horrible that is it's just so disgusting isn't it i mean obviously it's like it's only sort of around here but anyway i don't really know how i'm gonna manage to get them out but i'm gonna like sort of tiptoe around the fence post eh. i'm gonna have to bring him back this way as well actually i don't know why i came in these trainers because i'm pretty sure the middle of the field is like really wet as well so that probably wasn't a good idea, but we live and we learn, guys. And also, I can't move up to go back in the house to get wellies and come back out and change again. Oh, this isn't too bad. Okay, I'm not yeah. And all the other boys are coming as well. I had to um, put a reach boots on in this morning because not yesterday, but the day before, so Sunday, he managed to get his shoe off doing some. Don't know what he was doing in the field, but to be fair, we are on clay soil, which means apparently that like when they get their feet in it, it's sort of the suction of the soil sort of like makes their shoe loose. I'm like going on the edge right now. Um, yeah, it makes the shoe loose. So uh, he obviously just caught it, and it might have already been a bit loose. But anyway, Barry came out yesterday. Ah, just a fly went on my eye then. Barry came out yesterday to. Put it back on in time for our lesson today, so that's obviously really good. Oh, he's sighing. He's like, oh, just want to be naughty in the field. Come on, out you get. Turn around, do good boy. 
So, yeah, I'm going to go tie him up now and give him a good green because he's a bit dirty. Um, yeah, yeah, he's already broken one rug and so put a, a new rug on. <laughs> and he's already ripped it there. So, naughty boy. Guys, this is why it's so important to groom your horses because I was just grooming him because he's got a very dirty face. And if you just brought him in from the field, you literally would not notice this was here. Wait, but I just found that he's cut himself under here so it doesn't look bad i'm just gonna go and wash it out but what have you been doing diego stop it don't do that it's not bleeding and it doesn't look like it's actually bled a lot either um but hi diego i've just put a bit of purple spray on it it doesn't look bad anymore it wasn't bleeding at all and it doesn't seem to be bothered by it do you just gave him a treat that's why he's like pestering me for more um i've given him green it's all soft and shiny put him in but it's only me so i can't i didn't wasn't able to video it all the horses are looking <laughs> Wee. Good boy. Here's saddle on. I love this saddle pad so much. I will find out where it's from, but I think Ella got given it or something. But wait, but I love it and I've taken it because it looks so good on him. Along with that hair collar, which I originally got for Luna. But yeah, I've just put his saddle on and his front boots on and I'm going to put his bridle on in a bit, but we've got like 20 minutes, so I'm in no rush, which is good. He's been a good boy, he travelled really well. Thank you. So this is a little bit of an apology for the next few clips because although I did manage to film my lesson, um, well, my mum obviously filmed my lesson, um, she filmed it all in portrait, which... It's great for obviously Instagram and stuff, but not so much YouTube. So I do apologize. Apologies for the fact that the next few clips will be in um, portrait mode. Um, but yeah, obviously appreciate mum that mum taking the videos for me. <laughs>
Oi. I know I'm dead because I had my hands full. I've turned Diego out with his rug on over there so we can enjoy a couple more hours of turnout before we bring them in at around four-ish well when it gets dark to get dark so he's a heavy boy he just had a roll and now i'm just gonna muck out oh that's very zoomed in the lorry um so he's ready to be put away again for next time yeah that lesson was very educational um for diego and me me more say so like my confidence and diego more just like no, to be fair, it's probably his confidence as well. And just getting him used to seeing loads of spooky villas. We showed him like loads and loads of different villas, which he was a bit like, oh, like what is that? Just because he's not really seen that much. Um, but yeah, it was really good so he could see everything and I could get a little bit of, um, like more of a feel for him as well. Um, and he was really, yeah, it was really good. And he was really listening and managed to get a really nice canter out of him. Um, just because it's not, he's not very adjustable at the moment, obviously because he's young. And Luna was like so adjustable to a fence. So I'm just like so used to just being able to have the horse completely in my hand and just, you know, adjust the canter however I like. But with him, obviously, because he's young, it's a bit like, oh, if I, you know, bring him back, will he then go out to trot? And so, yeah, just like sort of both of us learning together. And obviously, because you all know, Diego is the complete antithesis of Luna. Like they're just completely opposite um in size and in sort of their way of going as well so yeah it was, it's definitely going to be um an interesting one to get used to but i'm excited and he was really really good um and he learned lots and so did i so yeah very very good lesson all around um but yeah i'm going to end on that note so i hope you all enjoy the video apologies again for the fact that it was all in portrait mode but I'm appreciative that my mum managed to get some videos, so it's not the end of the world. Um, but yeah, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, please. Um, because me and Ella are actually trying to make an effort to post it quite a lot, even though we have really busy lives. Me especially. Um, so yeah, enjoy, hope you enjoy the video. Bye bye.